Greetings, nerdlings, and welcome to the first in a long time Amalgam Nation unboxing. It's not just the first in a long time. This is the first one of its kind, because Nerdblock changed things. They now have two game blocks instead of arcade blocks. You have Gamer Block Mature, which is this one, and one that's for all audiences. I went for the Mature one because I'm not under 18, so fuck it. Might as well see what it's like, and if I don't like it, I can cancel it at any point. I have cancelled my Nerdblock subscriptions in the past while I wasn't doing vids, because I want I needed the money for other more important things. If I wasn't recording the unboxings, the stuff would have just taken up space, and it would have just piled up sooner rather than later, and gotten in the way. Now, on with the unboxing. As you can see, it's covered in plastic crap which I don't like, but it shows it hasn't been tampered with. Gives the impression that it's mass produced though, which is something I'm not liking. But I'm not saying this is going to be crap, I'm just saying this is different. So I'll put that down there. Hopefully it doesn't press too many keys on the keyboard. Perfect. I can go there. And we have it opened. Okay, so first up, we have a pin. I'm not sure what it's from. It says it's the Lone Wanderer. Uh, no clue. Based on the fact that it's a cardboard box that's opened and upside down, I'm going to guess it's from Metal Gear Solid, and it's the box Snake hides in. That's my guess. Right. We've got a Vault Boy. There's a bit of tape at the top, so I need this trusty little thing to begin the process. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually cut through the things just starts the process of allowing me to peel it so yeah let's see what I have and sorry about this Chelsea but two weeks in a row you get a mention because you're one of the people I know that loves follow for and I haven't actually played it oh and it's a bobblehead it's not just a vault boy and he has a gun So he's a series number three bubblehead. His hands are a little bit messed up in position because I cannot seem to put the gun in his hands. Nearly got it. Almost got it. This happens a lot with everything, not just from Nerd Block. So, anybody who's hating on Nerd Block, although nobody's watching this, I'd say, you can stop hating them because it's not their fault. There we go. So, Chelsea, I got myself a bit of Fallout merch, besides that Fallout t-shirt that I wear sometimes, despite having not played the games. Well, the Fallout 4 game. I've played a bit of Fallout 3, and I've played a bit of the originals. What's this? Oh, I'm going to guess Jurassic Park or something like that. Because it's a T-Rex head with an island theme to it. So, that'll, that's interesting. No clue, but there, as always, there'll be a bit of cardboard at the end that tells me exactly what, what we have. 
Sniper Elite Mini Keychain Projector. So, just to show you guys. By the way, this is the first ever Nerd Block ma Gamer ma Block Mature unboxing on my channel, and it's of the first ever Mature Gamer Block. So, let's see. Oh, uh, you guys can't see that, so I'll see if the camera can be moved. Right, I'm going to project it onto that. I'm not sure how well you can see it. But it makes a sniper sight crosshairs on a wall. I'll have a bit of fun with that. Right. You got to see my messy wires. Yay. Right. And here we have Event Zero. Right. There's a lot of writing on the back. But give us a look. In a world where humankind has embraced artificial intelligence, you are stranded on an abandoned spaceship. Event Zero is a game about building a personal relationship with a machine. Uh, I've done that. I'm in a relationship with my computer, so fuck that. It's a game about my life, except for I don't have a spaceship. Uh, where was I? Uh, you type messages into a computer, and Kaizen answers. As in any relationship, you experience gratitude, disappointment, and sometimes jealousy. It is by working through fears and anxieties of your virtual companion that you will find your way back to Earth. Okay, it says it's won awards. So, I've got no clue what this is. It's, an, it's a practically empty cardboard box with a bit of card in it with a code. Instructions. Launch the Steam client software and log into your Steam account. Click games menu, blah blah blah, and add them. And it comes with the soundtrack. So it's a Steam code for a game. I'm not showing you guys the code because I plan on checking it out. But let's see, there's a brochure and a print and a bit of card. Let a bit of card I think that tells me what we have nope that's the shirt punch credit uh, credit voucher I'll give you guys that code if the camera can focus I never use these things so whoever wants that gets it okay revenge of the shinobi print Cer with a printed certificate of authenticity on the back it says Sega of Europe Limited is a European arm of the J Japan based Sega Games Company Limited, a worldwide leader in interactive entertainment. Blah blah blah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, Revenge of the Shinobi print. That's not bad. I can probably find somewhere to put it up. Now, let's see. Nerd Block Magazine. QA with creators of Event Zero, Freddy Kroger's Most Creative Kills. What's inside January's Gamer Block? Right, let's see. I want to see what I got right. So next month the theme, each month has a theme, and next month the theme is round two, fight. So look. Uh, what? Here we go. What's inside January's Gamer Block? We've already looked at them. Uh, Fallout Bubblehead. You won't have to search for this bubblehead. Get your very own vault -Tec bubblehead from the Fallout series. It may not increase any of your special stats. But we're sure it'll make your space that much more unique. It will, unless I give it away to someone I know. Uh, 
Sniper Elite 4 Light with Reticle. Now, Sniper Elite 4's release is on the <coughs> pardon me is on the horizon. Enemies hiding in the dark? Question mark. Need to spot the target lurking in the shade? Don't worry, we've got you covered with the Sniper Elite 4 light, and that's exclusive apparently. Called it. I don't know if you watch my vids, Drew, but and I can't contact you on Facebook anymore because you delete is your Facebook you can't. But I have a Metal Gear Solid cardboard box pin, and that's exclusive as well. Oh, and Jonathan, you'll f probably curse at me for getting my hands on that. Uh, Revenge of the Shinobi art print and Event Zero uh, game, as I said. Uh, Meet Kaizen, he's going to be your new best friend. Too bad he's a computer. Yeah. Oh, and I was wrong, it's not Jurassic Park. It's Tomb Raider t-shirt, and it's exclusive. It says, sign up for your next adventure. And search for forgotten artifacts and explore hidden ruins. You'll be ready to discover ancient treasures with this awesome t shirt this month's in this month's Gamer M for Mature Block. So, one, two, three exclusives out of six things. So, 50% exclusive. Right, I'm not going to read the entire magazine to you guys, that's not what these vids are about. Right. I'm just gonna put this down over here. There's still stuff in it. So, stuff that I put back into it, that is. There we go. Uh, yeah. So, before I end the vid, I just want to say that, as I said a couple of weeks ago, I'm back. I haven't fully resubscribed to Nerdblock yet because money that I would spend on the Nerdblocks is currently designated for other things that I plan to do this year well this side in this half of this year so I'm going to naturally allow the nerd block that I have paused to start up on its own when its time runs out for the pause I can't remember exactly when that is but I'm making sure I have the money to pay for it just in case while I'm saving up to do other things. Secondly, for those who don't know this, I'm a cunt. I call you guys cunts. I call everybody a cunt. I'm not the most pleasant person in the world, but I'm on your side. And that's the thing that matters. While I am a cunt, I'm the cunt that's on your side, which means I'm not going to be going after you guys. I'm not going to be insulting you guys all that much, other than calling you cunts and nerdlings, and maybe bastards. Right. Uh, next week I'll be back to doing the World of Lorecraft vids. I'm going to finish off the Racecraft vids, then I'm going to go back and finish off the uh, Class Craft gid, uh vids right although i didn't call them class crafting i just called them hunter crafting druid crafting and so on uh, i'm going to be doing the demon hunter one legion the new expansion pack came out a few months ago i've been playing it and i'm having great fun so i'll be recording gameplay for that today short uh, not shortly after this because at the moment all the little shits in my neighborhood are awake and probably online which means if I try to play World of Warcraft I'm going to get lag central so it's no good right now but tonight I will record gameplay footage for that vid while I'm waiting to do that I will record the audio for the World of Warcraft vids that way I can just Put them together and render them and they'll be ready to go next week and the week after then after that i'll be continuing the lorecraft vids but the races will be over the classes will be over you might be wondering what's left there's plenty left there's specific characters such as troll illidan artists uh, uh i'm drawing a blank right now uh, i'm not very good good at remembering 
all the characters when I'm not playing the game. I'm, I lock that stuff away while I'm not doing it unless something brings it back but I'm going to do lore on individual characters I'm going to do one character lore per week but as you know when I'm doing these vids I do two lore vids a week so you might be wondering what the others what's going to replace the lore vid well it's a lore vid just of a different kind I'm going to be doing lore on the weapons I'm going to try and connect the weapons to specific characters. So, for example, if I'm doing lore on... You can't see... Okay, there's a sword on the wall. You can kind of... No. There we go. You can see that sword on the wall over there? That's from World of Warcraft. And that is based on... Frostmourne, or that is Frostmourne, I should say. If I'm doing the lore on that, I'll be doing the lore on the Lich King. Not Arthas Menethil, because Arthas Menethil, while he became the Lich King, is not the, the Lich King. The Lich King is different, just to get that out there. But I'll be doing lore on the Lich King when I do lore on that sword. When I'm doing Doomhammer, I'll be doing lore on Troll, and, or maybe... Doomhammer himself, the original wielder of the Doomhammer, but I'll do lore on one of them, and I'll keep going through them like that, and trying to connect a legendary weapon with a legendary hero or character from the game series, and yes, I did say series because I count the strategy games strongly towards the series, because they were what got me into the entire Warcraft universe. Uh, also to warn some of you guys there is some cunt out there and I'm not calling him a cunt in the friendly way he is actually a fucking cunt and to him I say this uh, who has created multiple accounts just to troll me and I don't mind being trolled it's part of life at this stage but he's a sick pervert as well sorry this camera's kind of annoying me with its camera angle. There we go. That's better. Um, yeah, he's been trying to get me to sit on an inflatable sword that I have. One I unboxed a while ago. That he says, if I don't sit on this inflatable sword, either he's going to die or his son's going to die. I don't believe he has a son. I don't believe he's going to die. And uh, from what I know, the thing about needing to see somebody sitting on an inflatable object is a fetish. And this sick pervert is trying to get me to record a vid of me sitting on an inflatable object uh, for his pleasure, basically. Claiming that somebody will die if I don't do it. And he's not threatening to kill somebody other than me. He's actually threatened to kill me. He's just being sick and twisted and perverted and not in a fun way. So, there, yeah, be on the lookout for that guy. He constantly pops up, although he normally comments on the same vid over and over again. I keep reporting the comments and getting them removed because they are very abusive. It's the only time I will report comments is when it's repeatedly abusive and the person isn't getting the message that I'm not here for that kind of thing. Right? I'm here for my own pleasure of do making these vids and trying to interact with you guys. That's why I do these vids. I don't do them for somebody else's pleasure. I'm not going to make vids just to please you guys. I will try and change things up a little bit to keep you guys interested to keep you happy with watching the vids but i will not be changing who i am the things i talk about or anything like that just for you guys so for example if one of you wants me to talk about trump i will not talk about trump just for you guys sorry uh, in the vid one of my posters looks a bit weird so i had to check that it wasn't falling off the wall um so yeah there's that 
But, like I said, I'm back. I'm happy to be back. I'm happy to continue doing the vids and everything like that. I do hope to do some new content, some completely new content soon. Something I've n never properly done on this channel. I've done something similar with Two Penny over on his channel, but I've never done it on this channel. So thank you for watching and as always remember play to game and game to play.